is up everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about the Detroit Lions new owner Sheila Ford Hamp. So this morning we heard news that Martha Ford stepped down as the Detroit Lions owner and her daughter has now taken over those responsibilities. So let's get to know her a little bit. Let's hear what she's had to say so far. Let's get it started. Welcome everybody to another video. I'm glad you guys are here. Now, before we get this thing started, I gotta just know, man, this is obviously like the eighth time I've recorded this video, okay? That's just how things go in the YouTube life, man. We, we record stuff over and over, and that's why videos come out late, and that's why schedules are really, really hard. I'm just I'm just gonna say, okay? Uh, actually, I just did this full video, came back, realized I didn't click the record button. How big of an L is that? So, let's talk about Sheila Ford Hamp. Hopefully, we're ready to go. I'm pretty sure we're good to go on this one. You guys will be seeing this video. So, Sheila Ford Hamp took over this morning. We really don't know a lot about her, but I do have a couple of takeaways from what she has said so far. I believe this is so far with the short Lions as their new owner. So let's look at some of the stuff she has said and uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So the first thing that we heard from Sheila Ford Hamper, the first thing that I saw is that she is part of the reason that Bob Quinn and Patricia are back. So she was part of that joint decision. They said it was a joint decision between many people to bring those two guys back. So for those people that are asking the question, does this mean they could get fired still? I don't think necessarily this year. I don't see them getting fired this off season. That would be crazy, especially if she was for the side of bringing them back and she was part of that decision. I guess saying she's part of that decision doesn't necessarily mean that she wanted them back, but I would think that she's, you know, okay with the coach that are here, right? At least for now, obviously, you know, you got to see it proven for 2020, but I don't think they're going anywhere. Let's just leave that. that. I don't think Bob, Queen, and Matt Patricia are going anywhere this offseason. However, next offseason is a different story. We'll get into that some other time, all right? Probably after the season, we'll get into that. Um, now, there was also a main article that was put out that said, Sheila Ford Hamp, uh, the Troy Lions can sign Colin Kaepernick if Bob Quinn chooses to, and coaches choose to. Okay, now, I think some people are taking this a little bit too seriously. Like, I've seen someone, or some people are looking at this saying, we're going to fly, we're going to sign him. Doesn't necessarily mean we're going to sign him. Actually, shout out to Believe the Hype uh, for, for bringing this up before. Uh, shout out to you for bringing this up. I'm not going to do a full video on it yet, but I also need to point out that I don't necessarily think we're going to sign him. I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't think it would make a lot of sense. However, there's not a lot of traction with this yet. There's not a lot of oh, really interest. There's not a lot of real interest in bringing Kyle Kaepernick. She just said about Queen and Patricia's shoes do, and they want to bring him in. She'd be open to doing it, which I think is understandable, especially if you made that decision to bring these guys back and you're putting your trust that these guys can turn this organization around. Then it makes sense that you would trust that they can bring in the right players. So I can understand that completely, but until there gets any traction, I'm not probably going to be talking about that too much. Uh, so let's see what else I got. Oh, the next one is that she is apparently going to be a very hands-on owner. Now, this is very important. I think Martha Ford was a pretty hands-on owner. We know Roger Goodell actually talked about this, saying that she was. So that's great. You know, you want hands-on owners. You want owners that are involved in everything, that really know what's going on. You know, I don't want an owner sitting back, cutting checks, being like, all right, hey, you guys know what you're doing the best. You guys got it. I want someone that's involved, helping make decisions, seeing what's going on for themselves. That is what I want out of my owner. I want my owner to be involved in the game. If they have such a big part in the team, I want them to be involved, know what's going on. You know, and she has, and you know, when she's making decisions and stuff like that. So I think it's great that she'll be hands on like Martha Ford. She's a younger Martha Ford. So maybe she comes with some more fire, some more passion. I don't know. I didn't dislike Martha Ford. You know, I felt like Martha Ford was not afraid of success. Like she wanted to win and uh, she would do whatever it takes. She cleaned a house before. She didn't care. She wanted to win football games. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of tough decisions. You're not going to make every decision right. But I saw some fire out of her. I know she wanted to win games. And I'm hoping we see that uh, with her daughter as well. So I thought I would point that out. That's just kind of my little thoughts on our new owner and Martha Ford as well. She did say she wants to see major improvement this fall. Now that's interesting, right? Major improvement. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, major improvement where, right? Major improvement in wins, major improvement defensively, offensively. Where do you want to see major improvement? She didn't really touch on that. She said, I'm not going to go by wins and losses uh, because the season could be could be weird. Um, and she doesn't necessarily know where she's looking at for major improvement. She just wants to see it major improvement as a whole. So she's not really pinpointing a certain spot that she needs to see them get better. She's just saying as a whole, we need to see major improvement, which I, I understand for now to say, you know, you need a broad improvement. And for her to say that to other people makes sense. But I think there also is some places that you definitely have to look for sure and say, okay, we have to get better here. We have to get better here or this might have to happen, right? You have to get better defensively. Even though you only, even though you lost Stafford defensively, even though there were so many problems, you were still really, really bad defensively. So that's where you need to see some improvement, I would say. Um, but I understand why she's not really touching it anything specifics. And I would say putting a win-loss record is tough to say, okay, we need to make the playoffs or we need to have 10 wins or you're not coming back. Because again, there's so many factors that go into it. So many factors that, you know, it's really hard to just put a specific number out there. But I'm with her. I'm going to see major improvement across the board at a lot of different things. 
but she hasn't really touched on that yet, but maybe she will later. Maybe she will later. Uh, she also said this, and this is probably something that a lot of Lions fans want to hear. So let's get into it. She says uh, she's going to do everything in her power to create a winning organization. I believe Martha Ford said stuff like that when she was the Detroit Lions owner. And, uh, you know, again, I think I seen that passion from her. I saw her, you know, try to make it happen. And hopefully her daughter does as well. You know, her daughter's going to be hands on. Her daughter's a little bit younger. Maybe that helps. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe she's just more active. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yes, all of us Lions fans can agree we want to see a winner on the, in the organization. And she says on this field especially. Yes, definitely on the field. We need to be winning more games, man. We have never been a consistent winner. I don't think ever been a consistent winner unless you go back to like the 50s. In the 90s, we were pretty solid. But man, it's been pretty bad for a lot of time. So yeah, we definitely need to see a winner on the field for sure. She said the fans deserve it and the city deserves it. Absolutely. I think everybody's nodding their head when they hear that one. Yes, us fans, we deserve a winner because you guys do. You guys do. I do. We all do. We all deserve a winner in Detroit, man. We have been great fans. If you're a new fan, if you're a young fan, if you're an old fan, if you, some of you guys have been here for like 70 years, you guys are legends. If you are like that, no matter what kind of fan you are from Lions, you deserve to see a winner uh, because our fan base has been loyal as heck and I love it. I love our fan base. So we definitely need to see a winner and uh, we do deserve it. The city deserves it as well. We need Detroit to have a winner. I remember we were doing a live stream. Someone pulled up a stat like we were like 80 and 200. That's not good, okay? Detroit needs to start seeing a winner because uh, if you look at across our sports, we've been pretty bad recently, right? I know the baseball was really, really bad. They had the first pick in the draft. Uh, basketball hasn't been great either. Obviously, they've been right on the edge of playoffs here and there, but they have been great. You know, Lions, obviously, the last couple of years, we struggled. I don't know necessarily about the Red Wings. I don't keep up with them, but I think they didn't make the playoffs or something recently. I'm not sure. Either way, Detroit as a whole, we need to start winning some uh, games. You know, we just, Detroit needs a winner. She left it off with this. She's a very competitive person. She's competitive back when she played tennis. As you guys know, if you guys play sports, it's easy to be very competitive. Uh, so she has some of that nature back when she did play in tennis. And uh, she's like, boy, I hate to lose. I want to have a person like this that, you know, hates losing. Someone that hates losing, that needs to win football games, all right? They're not winning football games. They're not okay with it. That's what the mentality I want out of our owner. I want it to be, hey, we're losing. We got to fix something, all right? I'm not going to just sit here. I'm not going to sit here and tank. Even though it, everything's situational, we need to win football games, all right? I'm not going to sit for this. We need to have a plan. So, you know, I hope that is the case with our new owner. So definitely, uh, I think that's something that, you know, maybe is a little bit inspiring to hear from our new owner for sure. But I thought I would just touch on a few of those points. You know, nothing crazy right now. Obviously, again, like I said, when we get a press conference, we'll react to that. We'll probably hear more from her. But that's all we have so far. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what she has had said as the Detroit Lions new owner. So I'll leave it there. Uh, you guys can leave your comments or thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, we'll talk about more stuff on her when we get more information. But right now, that's all I got. If you guys got anything that I don't have, definitely put in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Go check out Dose Gaming. We may be live later. And I'm out.